Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a boomerang file system. This is also known as a tickler file by David Allen in Getting Things Done, or 43 folders by Merlin Mann. So the basic premise of this is that you have physical items around your uh, workspace that just take up space and clutter your environment and decrease your productivity. So a lot of times these physical items uh, have an associated due date with them, such as a plane ticket or a hotel reservation or a concert ticket, or maybe a physical item that you need to bring at a certain date, or even a meeting agenda that you have um, that you just kind of leave around and then don't know what to do with it until the date of, and sometimes you forget it. So this is a way to kind of um, process those items. So the first thing you need is 43 folders. You're gonna need 31 left-sided folders right here and 12 folders with the middle tab right here. Let's say you have, you don't have enough left-sided or left-tabbed folders right here and you have a few right-sided ones. What you can do with those is you can just simply fold it back and flip it and now you can use it as a left-tabbed folder. So grab 31 of these and 12 of these, all right? So the next step is you're gonna need a label maker. Now, having a label maker makes it look a lot more professional. I wouldn't recommend just writing it down. Um, and we have links to this below as well if, uh, if you need, but they're pretty cheap. So after you get the label maker and you get these 43 folders, what you're gonna do is basically, these 12 folders are gonna be all the months of the year. So you're gonna have 12 months and these 31 folders are gonna be the days of the month. So you're gonna have days one through 31 over here labeled. And this is what it will look like after you're done labeling it. So here I have 31 folders here, labeled one through 31 here. And I have 12 folders here, labeled January all the way through December here. All right, and how you use this is that, so I'm just going to quickly put this in front of all of the months. So the dates go in front of the months here. And this is how you use the boomerang filing system. So let's say for example, today is January. So here's the month January and here's a day one. So let's say today was January and you wake up and the first thing you do is you check your tickler uh, or boomerang filing system and see, did I mail something to myself? So you open it up and say, oh, no, there's nothing in there. Okay. So you, what you would do after that is you would place this folder behind the January folder. So now this folder effectively turns into the February 1st date. So this was, would contain things if you needed to mail something to yourself to, on February 1st. All right, so January 1st passes, you wake up January 2nd, and first thing you do is you check your boomerang file. And what do you see here? Okay, so this is just a sample I put in here, but let's say you had a meeting agenda for January 2nd, right? If you didn't have this system, where would you have put this? It would have gone on your desk somewhere, on the floor, maybe you would have forgotten it. Um, but this way, it actually stays in here until January 2nd when you need it. So now you can put it in your backpack, your briefcase, whatever, uh, to bring uh, to work for your meeting agenda, all right? So after you place that in its proper place for the day, you can take this folder and put it behind the February 1st date now. So now this effectively turns into February 2nd and so on. So you can see this just goes on every day. You just have to remember to check it. Um, I personally put it into a habit tracking app to make sure in the morning I, I check it. Uh, or it also defeats the purpose of even having a system like this. Um, so the next question is, where do you store this? Like, you know, you can't just, it doesn't stand on its own, right? So what I found to be the best way to actually store this is using this mesh holder right here. Uh, the link is below as well. Uh, I've used a lot of things and this seems to have the best size for this type of uh, filing system. And it fits perfectly inside here. I'll show you here. 
I'm going to put it straight inside. And here, it leans nicely back. It fits really well. It's compact and it just looks nice as well. So you can see here, this is how, this is actually my own personal um, uh, boomerang file system right here. So that's it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel as well as uh, pushing the like button. Um, if you have any comments on exactly any other questions on how to use a boomerang file system, uh, please let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to uh, answer them. Um, and if you want to learn more about productivity, visit www.physicianzen.com. Thank you very much.